Well, good morning, everyone. Thanks for visiting us here at ArcoltexHomepage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses with your Thursday morning forecast update. Did have a few strong thunderstorms uh, last night. Uh, all the rain has dissipated, though. We don't have any activity on Pinpoint Doppler, and the storms uh, did cause a little bit of tree damage in the shreveport Bozier area. So you see the storm report that we had uh, yesterday in Caddo Parish. And uh, again, those storms packing a little bit of a punch and a uh, possibility. We do see a few isolated showers and storms today, but the activity will be just far less than what we've seen so far this week. We we do have high pressure kind of moving in from the east, so that is going to keep most of the activity uh, away from us. But on the back side of that high, we will possibly see that sea breeze kick in this afternoon. So I won't rule out an isolated shower a little bit later today, mainly along and south of Interstate 20. But temperatures have dipped into the 60s in most areas, with the exception of Shreveport and Manny still at 70. Same thing in Longview, but uh, we do have some fog setting up north of I-30. It is dense fog once again this morning. Visibility up through uh, Little River, Howard, Sevier counties down to about a quarter mile, and it has dropped to two miles in McCurtain County. Not much wind, another light wind day for us southwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour and uh, may turn into our hottest day this week as forecast highs for just about all of us in the low 90s with the exception of a few areas in northeast Texas. Again, 92 is the normal high, so a little bit closer to normal today. As we saw yesterday, not in the severe storm risk, but we did have that strong storm bubble up last night. So we'll show you your Robbins Toyota future cast, which just shows basically partly cloudy skies for much of the day. Could see an isolated shower storm, mainly south of I-20 a little bit later, and it looks like those scattered storms storm chances uh, will return for us on Friday and as we go through the upcoming weekend and it looks like the pattern will be in uh, mainly for some afternoon storms won't rule out just a little bit of activity in the morning and you can see those pop-up showers as we go through the day Saturday and Sunday all told we do have the scattered rain chances continuing next week so seven day rainfall totals now showing up in that uh, one inch to inch and a half range and the Saharan dust layer may be at its worst today and tomorrow so again if you have allergies and uh, kind of feel you're having some respiratory issues try to limit your side outs your time outside as the dust can often bring some allergens over from the African coast with it. But the seven day forecast shows the scattered storms this weekend and continuing into much of next week with highs running in the upper 80s and low 90s.